Hi, I'm Faith, and today I want to share my favorite habits for a cleaner kitchen. If you're new to my channel, welcome, and subscribe for more homemaking videos. This video is a collaboration with Lindsay from Organize to Save. Lindsay is a stay-at-home mom who's passionate about organizing to save time, money, and space. Make sure to watch her video for bathroom tips and tricks. Now, let's learn about the habits for a cleaner kitchen. Habit number one is to wake up to a clean kitchen. This way, you'll feel three steps ahead instead of three steps behind. But to wake up to a clean kitchen, you'll need to clean the kitchen at night before you go to bed. So, habit number one is to have a quick speed cleaning session before bed. I always start clearing the counter and stove, taking all the dishes, pots, and pans to the sink. Then load your dishwasher and turn it on, or wash all the dishes by hand. Afterwards, spray the counter and stove with your favorite all-purpose spray and quickly wipe everything up. If you have little children, then you probably should wipe the sticky handprints off the stools, refrigerator, and dishwasher. This quick routine might take you around 10 to 15 minutes, but if you have a couple minutes to spare, then you can quickly sweep the floor. I usually don't unload the dishwasher before I go to bed, so habit number two is to unload the dishwasher in the morning before you start cooking. This way, you can put the dirty dishes in the dishwasher while you're cooking. And I personally noticed that I clean as a cook when the dishwasher is empty. Otherwise, I'm too lazy to actually unload the dishwasher. I personally like to unload the dishwasher before I do any cooking or baking, whether it's for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Habit number three goes along with habit number two, which is clean as you cook. I like to peel and chop my food right by my garbage. This way, I can throw the scraps away immediately. Sometimes, I even put the garbage can right by me so I can have a bigger counter to work on. Cleaning as you cook also means that you put the spices, oil, and produce back where they belong right after you use them. This way, your counter will look clean even after cooking a big meal. That leads me to habit number four, which is to organize your kitchen so everything has a home. This way, you'll know exactly where the certain items are in your kitchen and you'll be able to put the items back where they belong so you won't be looking for it next time you cook or bake. Now that you've finished cleaning as you cook, habit number five is to make sure to wipe the counter and stove after every single meal. The counter takes up majority of the room in the kitchen, so if you wipe the kitchen counter and the stove, then your kitchen will look 80% cleaner, even if you didn't get a chance to load the dishwasher after you ate. This happens to me more than I like to admit, whether I had other things to do or I was just too exhausted to load the dishwasher. But clearing and wiping the counter will instantly make the kitchen cleaner. But if you have the time and the energy, then definitely load the dishwasher after every meal. Sometimes I'm just too exhausted to load the dishwasher after dinner, so I'll usually finish loading the dishwasher during my nighttime cleaning routine. Habit number six goes along with cooking, and that's meal planning. I love meal planning for a couple of reasons. One is that you'll waste less time thinking on what you're having for dinner. And the second reason is you'll be able to use up all the produce in your fridge because you'll be buying the food that you'll need for that week. This way you can actually quickly clean your fridge before you actually go buy more groceries. And at the same time, you'll waste less food. Habit number seven is to stop being distracted. I understand if you need to stop what you're doing because you need to break up a fight or you need to calm down a crying baby or a teething toddler, but I'm talking about a different distraction and that is your phone. Whether you just got a message, email, or you're checking your favorite social media apps, when it comes to cleaning, put your phone away or delete the apps that tempt you. This way, when you have a couple minutes to spare while your food is cooking, you can do habit number three, which is clean as you cook. Every minute counts for keeping a clean kitchen. I hope you enjoyed these seven habits for a cleaner kitchen. Click the like button if you thought this video was helpful and make sure to subscribe for more homemaking videos. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.